Hi, I'm Tyler, and welcome to another episode of my Christian Music Week Reviews. Each week I take five releases, be it LTPs or singles, and after I listen to them all week, I come back here and I review them and I share what I think about them. So without further ado, let's get to this week's first release, Amy Grant's new single, Trees Will Never See. Amy Grant's new single, Trees Will Never See, her first single in a decade. Let's dive into it. So, pretty good song here. Oh, by the way, Amy Grant has another single coming out next month. But let's talk about Trees We'll Never See for today. So, pretty good song here. Stylistically, definitely a contemporary country ballad. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here. Pretty good parable. Talking about discipleship here, using trees as a metaphor. Amy Grant talks about how we work hard lovingly and faithfully to help our fellow siblings in God grow in their relationship with God till we make it home to heaven. And then those we helped grow in their relationship with God turn around and carry on our legacy by teaching others how to grow in God. The others that grow in God are the trees we'll never see. Those that maybe we didn't impact directly ourselves, but those that are impacted by the people that we impacted. Up next, Owl City's new single, Coco Moon. Owl City's new album, Coco Moon, his first album in almost five years. Let's dive into it. So, on first listen, there were some parts of this album I liked right away, and then there were some parts I wasn't as big of a fan of, a little too experimental, a little too dragged out, I thought. But by the second listen of this album, definitely felt like this is a good album from Owl City, as always. Stylistically here, definitely, of course, it's Owl City, right? So, of course, it's going to be pop, pretty much. And strongly synth influence as well. We also hear, as well, we hear orchestral influences, alternative influences, and even some punk influence as well here. Also, too, I would say the percussion at times can kind of have a little bit of a hip-hop feel to it as well here. And as for the lyrics here, Owl City talks a few different themes, so I'm going to talk about the ones that he talks about most. But I find it interesting to hear him talk about all the different things that he talks about over the course of the sound, but here are the highlights including falling in love with the girl who he is happy to be together with forever, choosing to shine as he puts faith in God, the light of Jesus' saving love to others, whatever the cost and hardship, knowing that it will lead to eternal treasure in heaven, and feeling revived from being worn out when he's on the beach. Up next, Micah Tyler's new EP, People Like Micah Tyler's new EP, People Like Us. Let's dive into it. So, this EP as well took a little bit to grow on me for a couple of reasons. Number one, even though I liked the opening song and the title track eventually, I was not expecting him to come out of the gate with a country song. So, that kind of threw me off a little bit. And then, when we get to the more contemporary pop parts, there were a few points where the sound kind of threw me off in different ways as well. So I was kind of a little thrown off on first listen, but by the second listen and into the third listen, definitely came around to liking this EP here. Stylistically here, definitely a contemporary pop with emphasis on the contemporary side of things. The opening track and title cut, as I already said, has kind of a country feel to it. And I would say as well, that Nothing Too Broken has kind of a little bit of folk influence here. And as for the lyrics here, so it took me a little time to get sold on the sound of the EP, but I instantly love the lyrics to this EP. Micah Tyler talks about how if hard times make you fall away from God, to try to hopelessly fight it on your own, God in his love that Jesus showed in his sacrifice on the cross is with you there in the hard times so he can redeem you from your sin and its shame, even though you don't deserve it. So you can live a new life where you can put your hope in him to fight for you, to redeem your hard times. 
into something better. I really like how it talks about God's grace here that allows us to come no matter how far in doubt we may have run. But also the theme too of him restoring us from our hard times. Up next, Wilder Woods' new album, Fever Sky. Fever Sky, the new album from Wilder Woods, the site the sole side project of Need to Breathe's lead singer Bear Reinhardt. Let's dive into it. So typically, I'm kind of so-so on Need to Breathe and wasn't a big fan of Wilder Woods' first album. But, <laughs> I really liked Fever Sky, actually. I really liked this album. It was a really good album here. Stylistically, definitely on the southern pop rock side of things with emphasis on the rock side of that equation and sometimes it can tip more towards the country side of things and there's some alternative influence here as well and some R&B influence here and as for the lyrics here pretty good lyrics here Wilder Woods talks about wanting to not let fear prevent him and the woman he loves from loving each other and he wants to change to love her better by encouraging her to pursue her dreams. Up next, our last release for today, Kyle Church's new single, Modern Time. So before I dive into my thoughts on this new single from Kyle Church called Modern Times, let me just say, I came across this song after my mom recommended it to me. Um, saying that she thinks I would like the lyrics. So, let's dive into my thoughts on this song here. So, pretty good song here. Stylistically, kind of a soft alternative ballad that instrumentally incorporates piano, acoustic guitar, and a little bit of drum as well. And as for the lyrics here... The part that my mom sent me to this song for, she was right. I like the lyrics to this one. Kyle talks about how we're trying to make the most of these hard times where our hopes fall apart. And one day, God will help us to see how it all makes sense. Well, that's it for this week. Come back next week for five more releases. If you like what you saw in this video, please subscribe and put out videos every Friday at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. Also, if you have any thoughts on today's releases or what I may have said about them, let me know down in the comments below. Also, in the comments, you can let me know if there's any awesome releases that came out today that you want to see in next week's video. Yes, next week, I am doing a video on Good Friday, as I always do. Also, too, a little bit of an update on the Autism Awareness video. So, as you probably know if you watched last week's video... I planned on doing an autism awareness Q&A. Unfortunately, I have not received any questions. So, I don't think I'm going to do a Q&A, but I still definitely want to do an autism awareness video. So, I'm still going to release an autism awareness video on Monday. Just going to look a little different than I initially expected. Also, check out the playlist section for our Music Month of Dreams playlist available here on YouTube and also on Spotify. And this month's edition of the playlist, which is out through the end of the day, includes songs from artists like... Mike Donahue, Roland, Colton Dixon, and others. So go and check it out if you're interested. Also, know that my new edition of the playlist, No April Foolin', Don't Worry comes out tomorrow, featuring my most dreamed songs from this past month. So, be on the lookout for that tomorrow. Well, go now. See you on Monday to talk about autism. And see you on Good Friday to worship Jesus on the day that he died for our sins. And to start the weekend that he would ultimately rise again. To defeat Daph. See you. See you soon. Bye.